Good. Uh, good evening. <coughs> good ev Good evening, uh, lady, ladies, ladies and uh, gentlemen. <laughs> Fasten your uh, seat belts. Because uh, from here on out, it's, it's going to be uh, hilarity uh, on the top of our uh, priority uh, list. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it's, it's so... Um, it's, it's so uh, funny b because um, before, before I... Uh, Came on, I, w I was um, stand standing over th over there, and uh, I, I was thinking to myself, uh, "Oh, oh God! <laughs> I hope hope I'm not uh, gonna be uh, ner nervous." <laughs> but uh, <laughs> one, once once you, you get on. It, the tension just falls off. <laughs> I, w I was so I was so afraid that I, w that I was going to forget my my lines and uh, and then I, I w and um, um oh. Just, yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry about this. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> well, what do I do now? I just, I'll try and uh, release some, and just do some relaxation uh, exercises. Is that okay? Can I watch you while I'm doing it? <laughs> this is not working. What am I doing? Oh. Okay, this is this thing I do in, in Holland. When I'm, when I'm really tense, I touch my nipple. But it would be even better. <laughs> but gently, gently, please, please be gentle with me. Lick your fingers. Yes. Okay, I'll do it. Not, where the fuck you going? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I feel much better now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Woo, daddy. Oh, uh, okay, it's time for Popeye the Sailor Man. about willpower yes I do I like movies about willpower for instance about a guy named Dwight and he's blind and he's in a wheelchair but he wants to become a fireman and he works real hard at it and he becomes a fireman he becomes a fireman and one day he's at this burning house and he's hosing and hosing and hosing away and he hears this scream help 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 it's a woman and he he goes into the house and he saves the woman but when he drags her out of the house she is screaming my favorite couch 
My favorite couch! My favorite! It's not a very beautiful... It, my favorite couch! And Dwight says, Don't worry! I'll get back in and I'll save your couch for you, lady! And Dwight goes back in and the building is falling apart and, and, and he's, he, he's burning and, 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 and he finds the couch... And he drags the couch outside, and, and then there's this heroic music. Ba, 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 ba. And you see him in slow motion dragging the couch outside. And the couch is burning. And Dwight is burning. Everything's burning. Wow, it's burning, baby! <laughs> and he takes the couch to the lady and he says, Ma'am, here's your couch. And she says, yeah, well, it's not good. It's, it's, it's all burned now. <laughs> and then Dwight says, well, why don't you shove a burning couch up your cunt, you fucking whore? <laughs> yes! That's the other side of Dwight, you know? <laughs> don't fuck with Dwight! <laughs> But, you know, his captain, his captain hears him and he says, Dwight, that's no way to talk to a lady. You're a fireman. You're supposed to be an example. You're fired. And he's fired. And he goes home and he is so depressed. And he starts drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. But he has to go out. He has to comfort himself. So he goes to a Kenny Rogers concert. <laughs> and he is so moved by the music that afterwards he goes to Kenny Rogers' dressing room and he says, Mr. Rogers, I'm so moved by your music. You, you touch something deep, deep, deep inside me. Can I write your biography? But Kenny Rogers says, no, I, I don't know you, uh, go away. <laughs> so that was a little uh, disappointing. Uh, <laughs> shit happens. But then at night, he gets a mysterious call. A voice says, hi, Dwight. You don't know me, but uh, I've been watching you for quite a while now. I like your style. I saw you at the Kenny Rogers concert. I overheard your conversation with Kenny. Don't despair. You don't need him. Write your own book. Write your own book. Write your own book. And Dwight starts writing. He starts writing and writing, and he writes this novel, this sci-fi novel. It's, it's called um, The Dog from the Moon. <laughs> and it is butchered by the literary critics, because <laughs> it's not very good. Because the thing Dwight did, the dog, he didn't make the dog special. It was just, just anecdotes about an ordinary dog doing dog things, you know? <laughs> and that's also a thing about Dwight. He's, you know, there's no doubt about his love for, for, for dogs, but he has no feeling for a science fiction. <laughs> that's, that's Dwight, you know. <laughs> he gets so depressed, he, 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 he doesn't want to live anymore. So he goes up to a building and he wants to throw himself down. But then the, uh, beneath, the, there are all his colleagues, the firemen, and they're screaming, No, Dwight! Don't kill yourself. The lady from the couch, she set fire to her own house for the insurance, which puts a whole different perspective on the matter. You're hired. You can come back and be with us. Come on, Dwight. Come on. And Dwight comes down and becomes a fireman once more, and it's a happy end. Those kind of movies I like. I know it's, it's, it's a specific genre, but I love them. I also... Uh, thank you very much. I also, I also like movies where a, a little naked dwarf is running and running and running and running and running and he runs into a building, he jumps on a table and then he says, Billy has no nipples, but when you touch him, he starts to weep. <laughs> Or movies where somebody wipes his ass with an owl. Ha <laughs> ha! And why not? But, but the, hey, look at me. But there's two uh, types of movies which I prefer over all the other movies. And those are uh, that's, uh, uh, black and white movies and color movies. Those I, I, I love these. And I don't know which one I prefer because I like them both. I like them both. I like black and white movies and I like color movies. I don't know which I prefer because I like them both. I don't know. I really wouldn't really know. I really know. I like them and I like them. I don't know. But, but like, for instance, if I would have a huge pile of dead frogs, And I would take one frog and two buckets, two buckets and a pile of dead frogs. And I would take one frog and, and uh, th that 